What's up? It's Lucia. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, I'm Lucia. I'm 23 and I live in Chicago and work in marketing. And today's an office day. I'm running behind as usual, but here's my outfit. This is the blazer dress I got last weekend from Zara. I'm obsessed. And then the boots are Steve Madden. These are polka dot tights. They have a little bit of a fray in them, but they're from Express. And then the sweater is from Urban Outfitters Normal Jewelry. My new haircut. And yeah, I'm really excited for the day. We're gonna have lunch catered in the office and a happy hour after. So I love going into the office on these days. It's so fun. I feel like I work at Google. Subscribe for a new video every Tuesday and let's take on the day. It's like 8.50 though, so I really need to go. <laughs> okay, the train is coming in like two minutes, so perfect timing. And it's such a beautiful day. I actually feel like I dress perfectly and I feel like 55 degrees is such a difficult weather to dress for. Okay, it's 11.42, I'm at the office now. I've been in meetings all day, so I'm in one of our little wellness rooms just taking a breather for a second. I have another meeting in about 15 minutes. Since I'm not used to going into the office regularly, I didn't go at all last week. They're always so tough for me, routine-wise. I didn't have time to put strawberries in my overnight oats this morning. I spilled overnight oats on my sweater, which always happens. I've tried to go though, and it's all good. I'm being a call. Hello? Okay, thank you. You can leave it right there. That's fine. That was my apartment calling me. My boyfriend's home, so I'm gonna text him to get that package. I already had an espresso this morning, but I'm gonna get a cappuccino because I need more energy. I'm also already getting hungry, and I'm now realizing that they never sent out an official notice that there was gonna be free lunch. So fingers crossed that there is because I did not bring anything. Also, I just got this blazer dress, and I'm realizing now that it doesn't have pockets. I love stuff that has pockets in it, but it's something I never think to check when I'm about to buy something. I'm just like, oh, does it look good? Oh, does it fit? And then like when I wear it, I'm like, oh great. It has pockets or oh my god it doesn't so that's a little sad but that'd be fun to do like a what's in my work bag type thing and the most essential thing that i feel like people forget is deodorant i feel like i always end up sweating so much on my walk to the office and so then i need to like reapply deodorant when i get there and also like i'm wearing a sweater because it's cold outside but in the office like a little warm deodorant just always comes in clutch especially if you have a happy hour after work because you don't want to be smelly for the happy hour hot girl work tote tip bring deodorant and then for the rest of the bag got my laptop charger always bring a phone charger headphones but those are at my desk and then i have this really Really convenient little pouch that I just keep a bunch of essentials. So I have a tampon because you never know, a mask, little tiny Advil packets, a tied to go stick, tissue, liquid IV. <laughs> Sometimes I need that at the office. I get so dehydrated. And then a little makeup sponge in case my concealer gets all messed up. Of course, my keys, chapstick. This is one I got from Wendy's PR. Hand cream. My hands literally get so dry during the workday. And hand sanitizer, especially if you're going to eat after. And yes, I still use the Bath and Body Works hand sanitizers. Sometimes we do need to be reminiscent of 2011. Brings back our childhood a little bit. Oh, and this. This is the mason jar for my overnight oats that I ate. Yay, that's what's in my work bag. Okay, it's now 3.30. I'm taking a little bathroom break. I am so tired, but I've already had two cups of coffee. I feel like there's no way there's actual caffeine in those cups of coffee because normally caffeine, at least two cups, affects me, but I feel completely unaffected. So I'm just gonna try to drink more water because I don't want to drink any more coffee. And my face also feels really, really dry. I get these creases under my eyes from my concealer. And I brought this sponge to fix them, but it's not really working. So whatever, it's not that bad. I'm just very nitpicky. <laughs> I forgot to put on my earrings today and I feel not like my I don't like it. Also, I have something in my teeth from lunch. I think it's like basil from that Italian stuff we had going on and I don't have a toothpick so I can't get it out. So I'm gonna add that to my what's in my work bag for next time I'm in the office. Ugh. There was catered lunch, which was amazing. There were gluten-free options. They had gluten-free pasta, caprese salad, which is like my favorite mozzarella and tomato. Chef's kiss, so good. Oh, and they had like Italian sausage links. They had some good stuff. Only got an hour and a half left of the work day. And then we have the happy hour, so we're gonna grind through. We have this one big task I need to do to finish up the day. And I think it'll take about an hour, so perfect time I got this. Okay, it's now 6.04. I'm leaving the happy hour early because they didn't have any gluten-free options for food and I am so starving. And I didn't feel like drinking, so I just got a Diet Coke, which actually is so empowering because I feel like at happy hours, there's such a pressure to drink because that's the whole purpose of a happy hour. At least locally, kind of like what happy hour means is drinking and definitely like a couple of my coworkers were like come on like just one and i was like nah like i'm good i don't feel like drinking i'm already dehydrated and it's a tuesday night and you know how you have like work besties none of my work besties were there so that's another reason why i left early but i'm gonna catch the l to go back and then make some dinner when i get home because i'm starving chicago is so pretty at this time of day gorgeous all right i'm gonna try to make this train that's coming in five minutes made it back to wicker park I love living here so much. It's so much more peaceful than it was downtown. Okay, first thing I do when I get back from the office is change out of my clothes. Something cozy. I just got a Lululemon aligned tank top and then I keep pros I was wearing under my skirt today. And then I take off my makeup so my face can breathe. Also, I just feel like it's better for your skin to not be in makeup literally all day. I use the One Love Organics Cleansing Oil to take off my makeup and it feels so nice. It's also Hailey Bieber's number one cleansing oil. So it's good stuff. That's my skincare tip of the day. If you still use makeup wipes, don't do it. 
stripping your skin cells. I'm not a skincare expert, but that's what I hear. My face is breaking out a little bit right here on my chin, which is always annoying, but I think it's because I got off my birth control pill because when I moved my old pharmacy so far away and then took some time to like transfer it to my new pharmacy and there's been delays. So I'm like a week late and starting on my next month. So I think that's what's going on there. Hopefully I can pick up my prescription tomorrow. Oh, and I got a PR package that I opened. It's from Planta Queen. It's this new restaurant that's opening up in River North, I think it is. But they sent this box and we're actually going there tomorrow for dinner. I'll get to let you guys know if it's good or not. They sent this glutinous cookie. So that'll be for Vicente. They sent this ceramic, ceramic. Wait, <laughs> did I say that wrong? Ceramic. <laughs> The southern draw. Like, what? <laughs> the southern draw would be like ceramic. What did I say? Ceramic. I don't even ceramic. know. It's bad. A cat that we're probably gonna donate because I'm just like not a cat person. <laughs> Hello. Literally laughing out loud. Hello. I'm actually so hungry, so my brain cannot function. So I need to make my quesadillas ASAP. Right, the quesadillas are ready. Probably my favorite meal to make at home. It's so good and really easy. And it feels like I'm really doing something. It feels like I'm cooking. And I'm very bad at cooking. This is like the one recipe that I can very easily do. I just put black beans, frozen peppers from Trader Joe's, white corn tortillas, and then the light Mexican cheese inside. Bon appetit! Now Wednesday. Okay, it's not Wednesday. <laughs> I have a roommate again. Okay, it's okay. now Wednesday. <laughs> <laughs> oh, our power went out. It's 520, but I can't tell that from the microwave because our power went out earlier today in the middle of the workday. It was a little bit chaotic. We made it through. It was only out 45-ish minutes. I actually used my personal hotspot. I'm about to go head over to a bar class at Senyoko Garage. I haven't been there in two days and it feels like a week because I'm so used to going there once or twice a day. And tonight we have our reservation with Planta Queen, so that's very exciting. Are you excited for Sunday? Oh. Yeah! Five o'clock somewhere, aka here. Okay, it's now seven. We literally have to leave right now. Very quick outfit check. Top Princess Polly pants express they're like leather jogger type things my chunky sneakers we're gonna go to planta i'm so excited we made it to the l with minutes to spare yeah planta queen we're coming for you Okay, we made it back from Planta Queen. It was really good. The food was really, really delicious. Everything is plant-based, hence the name. And they had great gluten-free celiac options. They actually had things designated gluten-free versus celiac safe, which I thought was really interesting. So I guess the celiac safe means like absolutely no cross-contamination at all. Yeah, my favorite was we got this tartar, avocado lime tartar. That was probably one of my favorites. But my actual favorite was the matcha cheesecake, which was just the dessert. My pineapple fried rice was good. I enjoyed it, but I honestly just prefer chicken fried rice it's like such a classic and staple and the whole like vibe of the restaurant was really nice it was really cool when you walked in there are a bunch of really cool visuals like i love the aesthetic but the tables were way too close together where it was hard to hear vicente from across the table and like it was hard to hear the waiter and you could just hear everyone's conversations and it was just kind of a lot a little claustrophobic i get that way so easily at restaurants if it's too loud and crowded it's just an immediate no but it was really fun to get invited to go in and always really fun to preview the spot so then i can tell you guys about it if you're in chicago if you guys watch the bachelor i guess it's technically the bachelorette katie season that's like the last season i really watched reg and andrew s were there which was so funny it was actually okay here's how it happened they were wearing baseball jerseys and i looked over and i saw these guys with baseball jerseys and i was like oh are those baseball players and then i looked closer at them and i was like oh my god no they're from the bachelor and then i like looked on their story and they were at the cubs game earlier that day which is why they're wearing all the cubs jerseys obviously i didn't go up to them or anything but i saw them from afar and it was kind of cool i'm very tired though i'm gonna do my skincare it's 9 50 and I'm going to the office tomorrow, so I need to get to bed soon. Good morning. Oh my gosh, I can see some fall foliage outside. So crazy. Fall is here, you guys. Chicago, and I feel like Chicago always does this. We entirely skipped that really nice 60 degree all the time weeks and went straight from 75 to 45. Today, it's a high of 61 and a low of 46. It's a sweater and glasses type day for me. Here's the fit. I really wanted to be cozy today. The sweater is from Princess Polly. I have a different necklace on today. The pants are actually also from Princess Polly, and I'm gonna put on my chunky sneakers. 
Princess that are also from Princess Polly. So I said it once and I'll say it again, Princess Polly. Please sponsor me, I love you. Today is a big day, so I'm going into the office and I have a doctor's appointment this afternoon. I'm going to the ear, nose, and throat doctor because I have a deviated septum. I'm not gonna get like too into the medical stuff because I'm not a doctor, but I've been having some sinus headaches, so hopefully they'll let me know what's wrong. And I didn't have time to make my lunch this morning, so I just like put all of the ingredients into one container and I'm just gonna make it when I'm there because I gotta go. I'm just now leaving the doctor's office. It was very interesting. I ended up having to get my nose numbed and get a blood test, so kind of more than I was expecting. But basically, I have to go pick up a prescription later. And I have a little bit of time to kill before my eyebrow waxing appointment. So I'm gonna go to this Foxtrot and just do some work on my laptop. Yeah, it's been a crazy go, go, go type of day. Also feeling kind of hungry. I feel like my lunch wasn't super filling, so I'm gonna go to Foxtrot. It's 5.55, I'm leaving Foxtrot and going to get my eyebrows done. Here's the before, see you guys on the other side. I'm post eyebrow wax, here's the result. Looking good, I went to European Wax Center and I just asked for cleanup. My hair just grows really fast. I go about every four weeks. I'm actually gonna try a new place because they don't really have a European Wax Center in Wicker. If you're in Chicago and you know of a good place in Wicker, let me know. Open to threading. Potentially. I don't know. We'll see. But yeah, I'm just so tired from the day. Left my apartment super early and then I was at the office and I was at a doctor's appointment and then I went to Foxtrot and then I went to get my eyebrows waxed and then I went on the bus and then the train and then now I'm here. Oh, and then I went to Walgreens to pick up my prescription. I had to pick up my birth control. Finally, I got that. So hopefully my skin will be back to normal in a few days. I also had to pick up some nasal spray because basically the ENT doctor said she thinks I have allergies that is causing these headaches and stuff because there's blockage in my passageways. I don't really understand the science behind it, but I have to use this nasal spray. If I I have any fellow nasal spray users out there we can form a little community i just made for dinner the gluten-free ravioli from trader joe's it's delicious and i'm using the rouse tomato sauce on top you know you know bon appetit cheers i'm just gonna watch a vlog i think and chill i'm really just so tired from the day and i think i'll end the vlog here and it ended up being about three days but i wanted to show you guys plant a queen yesterday so that was fun yeah thanks for watching i post a new video every tuesday so subscribe so you don't miss it and hit the notification bell and the thumbs up video if you want i have an Instagram, TikTok. I'll link those down below. I'm always posting on my Instagram stories if you want to keep up with me more. I'll see you guys next Tuesday for another video. Bye!